All right, a simple budget, you guys. This is all it is. Are you ready for this? Fifth grade math, your monthly income minus all of your expenses should equal zero. So every dollar coming in is assigned to a category. Now, that's easier said than done, okay? Because here's the deal. There's a lot of moving parts, and if you've never done a budget before, it's gonna be very, very overwhelming. So the first thing you have to do is figure out, what do you make a month? Some people, it's different every month, so we'll talk about that later on in the episode. But for most of you, it's like, okay, yeah, here's your salary, you know exactly what you're going to make. So dig in and figure it out after taxes. This is take home pay. What are you bringing in the door every month? Figure out that number. And then you're gonna go list out all of your expenses. So this is everything from rent or your mortgage to food, groceries, restaurants, your cell phone, your insurance, pet care. Like, I mean, anything that you spend money on, list it out and then put dollar amounts next to each of those categories. Now your first month doing a budget, go back and look the last like three months and just kind of average out, okay, here's kind of what we're spending on food. Here's kind of what, you know, this is what our insurance payment looks like. Just get a ballpark to at least get some numbers down. And then what you may realize is, wow, we're spending a lot of money because we have not been purposeful, which means you're gonna adjust some of those categories, which is totally fine for that first month. But again, your goal is that income minus all the expenses will equal zero. Every dollar has a name, okay? And so stick with this because every month is gonna look different. So I'm telling you, you have to put it though visually somewhere. This can be on a sheet of paper or you could use every dollar, which is our budgeting app and it's amazing. Seriously, I love every dollar. Every dollar plus connects to your bank account, so when you swipe your debit card, automatically those transactions come in the app and you can drag and drop them into the correct categories. Or if you're taking cash out of the bank, then that'll come up and you'll be like, okay, yes, you know, $200 went to food here and you can break it out. And oh, it's, it is like, I'm telling you as a free spirit, even though I'm a free spirit, it's one of the most satisfying things in the world. When you see that little bubble pop up, in the Every Dollar app and you get to drag and drop and it does the math for you. Then it starts subtracting from your categories. You don't have to do the math. I mean, it is unbelievable. It will change your budgeting game. So download Every Dollar, do your first budget. And the great thing is here at Ramsey Solutions, we have solutions for you. We help you. So even within the app, we have so much there to talk about how to do the budget. So dig in there, look and see, because this is huge. Now, a budget can get complicated because there are a lot of problems that people come up with. So one problem I hear a lot is, well, Rachel, every month is different, so I really can't plan ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, it is different. Welcome to the world. Yes, everyone's month is different, guys. Like, that is life. And so what you do is you do the best you can. You look ahead and say, okay, we're going on vacation. So we're gonna put Nala, our, our dog, you know, at the vet for seven days. How much is that gonna cost? We're gonna put that in every dollar. I mean, you have to actually take the time and intentionally look ahead. Now, are there things that are gonna come up throughout the month that you forget about? Yes. That's why we have a miscellaneous category. Mm -hmm. Your niece's birthday comes up and you forgot that it's a princess tea party and you need a gift. Thank you, miscellaneous category. Just put it in there, right? I mean, like, it's all there for you. That's your catch-all, okay? Now, if you notice that your catch-all things keep being the same thing, that means you need a budget for those. That needs to be its own category then. So, it's gonna take some time, but yes, you have to plan ahead. And if it's your first time budgeting, it's gonna take 90 days for your budget to work. Give yourself some grace, figure out what your months look like, and just say, okay, this is what we're doing. Now, another problem I see is that people that are living paycheck to paycheck and they're using their credit cards to pay for bills, may not have enough money in their bank account to plan for the month ahead. So this is gonna take a mindset shift, okay, if this is you, because you've been functioning in the past. You've been functioning of saying, okay, I'm gonna be paying bills on things that have already happened in the past. But what you have to do is you have to be thinking ahead, which means, yes, you are gonna have to have some money in the bank in order to live this way, because you're basically living a month ahead. So when your paycheck comes on the 31st or the 1st, take that amount and say, okay, this is what I have until my next paycheck and cash flow as much as possible. And maybe you take a month between now and doing your first budget and just save as much as you can to have some buffer there. Now, if you find that you cannot get ahead financially, then you're gonna look and say, okay, maybe I have an income problem versus a budgeting problem. And you may have to get your income up, which is really hard. But in the moment, it's gonna be so worth it because you're able to function that month ahead by doing the zero-based budgets. Another problem I see people have is that a budget is just defeating. Like doing a budget, they just it, it's just so hard every single month. And I do see people with this because it's a draining process because they're not making progress. 
It's like a budget is not exciting and fun because what it is, it's revealing the problems that they have. And so the problem may be that their income is too low or their lifestyle is just too high. And so there's gonna have to be some adjustment there. It's kind of this reality check is what a budget is for some people where they say, wow, we really have been living way beyond our means. And so we're gonna have to be uncomfortable for a while and sacrifice our lifestyle, things we're not used to sacrificing in order to get this correct. Because listen, we're not in Congress. Like we can't just keep spending money, you guys. Like we have an income, a set income every single month, each of us does, and you have to budget within that. And that's how you're gonna get ahead financially. You will never be able to live above your means and win over the long term. It's just not gonna happen. And so it's a hard reality, but I'm telling you, once you get the budget under control and you say, oh wow, our income is absolutely funding the lifestyle that we have now, then you start to gain traction, you start to gain control. But a budget isn't easy. I'll be the first to admit it. It can be really hard. But the beautiful thing is the more you do it and the more consistent you are, it becomes a habit. And me, I can't believe I'm saying it, but 10 years after doing a budget consistently, the free spirit, I don't know what I would do without a budget. I'm not gonna lie to you. My bank account did not connect to every dollar for about two days, two days ago, and I could not track transactions. And I was like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. That would never have been me 10 years ago, you guys. But that's me doing a budget every single month. It becomes a part of who you are, and there's such safety in it. I'm telling you, the best way to get ahead financially is to be intentional.